Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is but a Window, and today we're going to be doing some Overwatch. As you can see here, the suspect's got 27 kills, making his way up Catwalk with a scout. Spots out Cyclone, looks like he knew exactly where that guy was, one guy pushing up Catwalk, and of course, uh, one guy over here by stairs, actually two guys by stairs, holding with a deagle right now, waiting to see if anyone's going to push, and one guy peeks out on Cat just as he turns around and he gets taken down. So right now I am pretty suspicious that he may be using a wall hack, look at that, he's going to aim on that guy right through the wall, take the shot through the edge of the wall, and of course he gets taken down right after he shoots. Anchor may be cheating as well, but Anchor was actually holding it in a way where I think he could actually see a little bit of him. Either way, Diamond's gonna peek up middle, the suspect here is on the bot with a scout. This is a good time to see if he's using any kind of aim lock. Right now it just looks like he is using a wall hack as far as I can tell. One guy in window, two guys in connector. One guy pushing up, holding the angle, and he's able to take down Goose. Still gotta worry about two more guys over here, one guy in market, one guy over in connector, and one guy on catwalk. I mean, three guys total, but these two guys are at the crossfire here, are really the biggest threat for him. Looks like Whale gets taken down by Taurus though, and he's able to make his way up catwalk. Cyclone's gonna be holding the angle, gonna take a shot, he does tag him in the body. Meanwhile, Cyclone's gonna be rotating back over here through market. Tries to go for the Kobe nade, not quite able to get on target with that. And Cyclone's running out of time, He'll probably just save his gun. Suspect's gonna try to chase him down though. Peak aggressive here, and misses the shot. Finally does connect with a headshot. Still not entirely sure if he's using an aim lock, but I am very suspicious of it. The only thing I can verify 100% is that he is using a wall hack. Maybe making his way up here, gets naded down to 45. One guy underneath balcony here, he's gonna go with an AWP. Wow, that's some quick reaction time right there. If he wasn't wall hacking, just imagine how fast that would actually be. One guy on stairs, two guys in connector. He's gonna throw some nades over there, making his way up towards Tetris. One guy on the right hand side here, peeking over here towards the stairs. On the other team is, I uh, can see his gun tries to shoot him a little bit. He does get tagged from behind down to 9 HP. Slowly trying to make his way up from Sandwich here. Cyclone's on top, Diamond there on the bottom, and one more right behind him. Looks like Violet's holding steady here, waiting for someone to peek up. Takes the shot. I think he was just trying to bait out someone to peek, but no one did. Suspect here scopes his gun. They know his location now. They should have known from earlier, but maybe they thought he would have fallen back at this point. Either way, Taurus is able to take down Goot. He's going to be peeking aggressive here over towards stairs. Cyclone holding the angle. See who decides to peek first? The suspect kind of needs to push for this. Anchor's going to come from behind, takes down his teammate, he goes for the peek. Hits him in the arm, but it's a little bit through the edge of that staircase. Suspect making his way over here towards the B site, able to take down Anchor. Obviously pre-aimed that, was able to take him down, gonna be pushing his way up, and he tries to peek the window there, only to get taken down. This time he's making his way over here towards the A site with a Deagle. This will be a great round to see if he's using an a, uh, any form of aim lock. AWP's kinda hard to tell with usually. His uh, taking shots, looks like he's actually kinda locking onto him through the wall there, able to get the headshot. Yeah, it looks like an aim lock. Uh, one guy over here by stairs, one guy over by jungle. Gonna be peeking around here. Not quite able to react, even though he can see through the wall. That's kind of embarrassing. Going back to that AWP, he's gonna peek out. There is one guy over at triple box trying to take shots at him, but I think that is a little bit too thick. So just gonna be staring straight at him through the box. Meanwhile, Taurus is pushed up. They got three guys over here by jungle and connector, and one guy all the way up there on catwalk. Surprised they haven't decided to redirect, but you know what? Cheats does not mean brains. Gonna throw a nade over here towards Cyclone, and that does not connect. We gotta worry about that guy over by Triple Box. Goose is gonna peek aggressive and takes down the suspect. Wow, the CTs are really bringing it back. They are most likely cheating though. Suspect's gonna decide to go with a scout. This is probably his best bet at this point with that quick movement speed. One guy up close here does tag Bot Frog. Not tag him in the head. It didn't look too suspicious with that, but that the Deagle round where he was just looking at the guy and locking onto the guy through the box really did. Come out, takes down Diamond, only get traded out, but he does have the bot to fall back onto. Alright, so now that he knows that all the counter-terrorists are over at the A site, which he has known for multiple rounds since we have confirmed he is wall hacking, he's finally going to try to go the other way and plant that bomb. He's planting in a pretty typical plant spot here. All three CTs seem to be rotating over here through market. Suspect's gonna be looking over here on the left side of the wall, forcing them to peek out towards- Actually, he's just gonna take a shot, now they know his location if they weren't cheating. Grenade out. 
And uh, he's playing this corner, takes the shot, does take down Goose. All right, this time Taurus is taken down, but Frog over here at the B site. Like I said, they haven't really been playing anyone at the B site, so it's pretty clear over here. They have taken the site, planted that bomb, and the suspect has set up aggressive on Catwalk. Well, one of them actually is making his way up Catwalk. And he's going to turn around, try to take the shot, only to get peeked perfectly and not be able to hit him. All right, guys, time for the Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this. And yeah, is that Deagle round enough to say that, that is aim assistance? Well, we can go through the rest of this first. Major, uh, minor disruption, griefing, insufficient evidence here, and other external assistance, insufficient evidence here. Now that those are out of the way, vision assistance is the most blatant thing in this case, and that is what this account will get banned for, so evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for aim assistance, I can understand you thinking one way or another. Now, Deagle Rand looked very suspicious. The scout didn't look overly suspicious because he was set up in positions and had very small movements to the guy's head when the guy peeked out. Honestly, not shots that would be hard to make, but definitely being assisted by that wall hack. Overall, I'm going to have to go with insufficient evidence. There was only one deagle shot that really looked like it was an aim lock. You can see the guy was on the other side of that ticket booth. He wasn't aimed on him. He clicked and it went to the guy's face. Most likely an aim lock, but honestly, not enough evidence to say uh, that it's evident beyond reasonable doubt. All right, let's move on to the next case. All right, here we are on case number two. As you can see here, the suspect's got 21 kills, 138 damage round. This is the 18th round, and he's got an auto sniper. For some reason, that's a bad sign. Oh, looks like a name lock to me, and lock it onto the guy through the wall as well. Guy is already down to one HP. Did he tag him up? Seems to be locking onto him. And yeah, he's going to take him down through the wall. I guess he did tag him down to one HP. I'm going to stare at that for a moment. Either way, I'm going to take shots over here and take down Octopus. That's just going to leave one terrorist remaining all the way over there in middle. And the suspect's going to be pushing aggressive here and taking him down with a headshot. Aim lock, wall hack confirmed. And I guess the rest of this game, I'm just going to be watching to see if he does any kind of other external assistance like bunny hopping, lag hacking, or any kind of anti-aim. All right, so this is an interesting change of pace. He went around and got a bunch of aces and a 4K. And uh, now he's actually just sitting in spawn. Last round, he just sat here all round and waited for the terrorists to win this round. This round, he just seems to be doing it this time with teammates, though. Uh, do I report this as griefing? And obviously, we are going to be reporting the aim lock. Of course, the wall hack. But he is technically griefing now. Still has not done any kind of other external assistance, though. Well, that turned into quite possibly the most boring case I've ever seen in my life. All right, guys, let's go through this. I'm going to start with griefing. Basically, he started off full-on cheating, and he was winning round after round. Then he decided to just sit and spawn for the last few rounds and do absolutely nothing. And I just watched him sit there and just jump around spawn. So I'm going to go with evident beyond reasonable doubt, though obviously the other two will take priority. As for other external assistance, I never saw him using a bunny hop script or anything like that, so I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here, vision assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt, and aim assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. This account is getting banned. Let's move on to the next case. And here we are on case number three. As you can see here, the suspect's got 18 kills, making his way over here towards A main with dualies. That's not a great sign. Uh, one guy on stick. Yeah, he's just going to lock on everyone here, taking shots, and... Quite a bit of damage, able to take down Canary. One guy over here on stairs still. Kite peeking out, or Kiwi peeking out from the bottom there. Oh my, he is just full on spraying these dualies and gets taken down. Making his way over here towards the B site. Mask is up here by the van. As you can see, he locked onto one guy to another. Able to take down Mask, one guy underneath here. Controlling that recoil with that recoil strip. And able to take down Eclipse as well. Last guy, or actually two CTs left, one making his way over here through B halls. He's gonna take him down. Now he's gonna go full, with a full on rage hack, staring at the ground and making his way over here towards middle. Couple kills with this, and we'll go and report this and get this account banned. One guy pushing up catwalk here, making his way down here backwards. Gonna take a shot, takes down Sonar, who's in uh, connector. And now pushing up towards ladder room, takes him down. And we got one more guy over here pushing his way through B halls. Last guy is over there at the A site. And I'm not even sure he wants to go for this at this point. Rage Hacker is going to be making his way over here towards market. Last guy's over by window room. He is hunting the final counter terrorist and able to take him down. Let's go and report this.
Minor disruption grieving, insufficient evidence. As for other external assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for vision assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And as for aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. I hope you guys enjoyed these three cases. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.